What's up, bro? Too here on the lab doing the daily 10k. Fun fact: I've done a 10k on the bike every day for, in for 2022. So I'm up to I believe 100 and 70 kilometers uh, that I've biked so far. And I want to talk to you about just a shift in perspective that I use um, to make cardio a little bit more enjoyable. And that's really a subjective statement because cardio, you know, go both ways, but I've been doing it every day. And I just basically associate it as work, like actual work work, meaning that you're working towards your physique. And during this time, it's not really supposed to be enjoyable per se. However, what I do is I try to watch some educational uh, video or something that's gonna make me smarter. So I do set a, a timer, but the way that I measure my cardio is by effort. So I either set a distance goal or a calorie goal. Uh, I don't really do it for time because again, time, it, it doesn't really, it's not an accurate metric for effort uh, when you're looking at it on a daily schedule. On a macro scale, yes, but on a, on a micro, not really. Because you can half ass something for a long time. So it's better than nothing, but it's not optimal. And one of the things that I've been uh, very consistent on is developing better time management skills. Um, and one of those ways is by kind of doing two things at once, right? Or, or trying to shrink the amount of, of time that I'm wasting and eliminating those taskings and those actions that don't necessarily bring and in return. So, for example, this week I've been um, doing, uh, like learning about time auditing and stuff and how to maximize efficiency in the past of those before you can watch videos on how to plan my day. But it's just a different outlook on cardio, meaning that I don't really think about it all. I have to go and sweat on the bike or I'll have to go to this fucking 10K. I just think of it like I'm going to school or I'm going to take a class. It just happens that the class that I'm taking, I sweat in it and actually learn skills that are going to make me efficient. So if there's any particular area of your life uh, outside of the gym that you are um, in needs of improvement, commit to it. Commit to taking that time and the opportunity to figure out how could you unfuck it while you put it work, right? So maybe that is you go on a 20 minute walk or, or a two, three mile walk with your dog or some shit while you listen to a specific audiobook. And every time you go on the walk, you throw on an audiobook. And then maybe, you know, that will free up uh, some of those problems that you have. Because if you commit to it every day, over time, you're gonna get a positive result. So um, I've been doing this uh, cardio school shit for years now. And uh, it's actually what has gotten me a lot of success because, you know, I, I would watch videos while I would jump rope or I would watch videos when I was on the Stairmaster and my mind was somewhere else, right? I was fucking in a whole new world learning some shit that I was genuinely interested about but I was burning some calories. So I wasn't really putting too much effort into cardio. I was putting more effort into getting through the information that was in front of me. So you could do something such as, you know, we have these, uh, there's a lot of people that sell these online courses and some of them like seven, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 days. Go ahead and commit to that, you know? And then every time that you do cardio, play an episode. This is the benefits of technology, you know? Um, this is a new breed of fitness that we're essentially creating. It's not just about looking good, it's all about being smart. It's all about <clears throat> kind of maximizing your resources. And time is one of the resources that we take for granted. Don't think that you have to be limited to having success in whatever your life. You can have financial success, you can have relationship success, and you can also have fitness success. So get fucking after it. Get your fucking cardio done. Do your pushes, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.